Jordan, aka Mary Helsing, and welcome back to another edition of What I Got for Hanukkah. Now, I am really excited to show you some of the gifts I got this year because it's going to be a mixture of geek-related stuff, also, also sometimes books and movies, and I got a little tech stuff. Now, before I get started, I actually got some messages explaining why I have uh, something that looks like a Christmas tree and how come I have that sort of tree even though I'm celebrating Hanukkah. Well, I'm going to tell you what that thing is. Now, this, what you see before you, is called a Hanukkah tree. And we started this tradition back when I was a little girl because what we did here is even though originally there was uh, something called a Hanukkah bush, my parents and I decided that we wanted to do something different like a Hanukkah tree. It's kind of like a blend between a Christmas tree with elements and ornaments relating to Hanukkah. Like you can see, you could see some uh, menorahs in there, you'll see dreidel ornaments in there, and sometimes uh, snowflakes, and then sometimes you see like a um, innocent childlike ornaments like that blue seahorse or lollipop, even like little blue light bulbs, and even Cinderella's uh, slippers present there. And also you can even see Hermie from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He's like the dentist elf. That's an elf who follows his dreams, if you know what I'm saying. That's my Hanukkah tree, and this is what I um, do every, every night during the holidays. And I'm really thankful to have the Hanukkah tree. But anyways, enough about the tree. Let's get started on the presents. Now the first gift that I got for the first night of Hanukkah is this amazing Harry Potter cauldron mug. And I am so glad to have, ha to have this because what's so fascinating about it is that it comes with a lid and it comes with a spoon and you could use do anything you want with this thing because not only can it serve as a mug where you can put in hot chocolate or coffee or tea or even soup with it, but you can even use this as a prop for any type of Harry Potter related video. And the design of this uh, beautiful cauldron, it's very porcelain. Also, you can even feel how how solid it feels in your hands, but it's very fragile and you have to like be very careful with this thing and you can even put something like that either in your bedroom or even in your very own kitchen. And so you can do anything you want with this. So that's what I got for the first night of Hanukkah. Now the other gift that I got for the first night of Hanukkah is this Ravenclaw bathrobe! Ah! Isn't this thing amazing? Now, the reason why I'm so glad that I got this is because um, even though I already have a Ravenclaw robe that is really meant to be for cosplay or for formal wear, this one, although it's not really kind of like a bathrobe, I really call this a lounge robe. This is the type of robe that you can like wear just to lounge around your house. And I really love this because it's so cozy and it, it, you can even like wear this and like whenever like it gets cold outside and it even comes with a hood and like in a way I almost kind of feel like I could be a student or I could be Darth Sidious young Skywalker you will die so anyways, this is a really special robe because I've always wanted to have one of these besides like my amazing Hogwarts uh, sweater, although I'm getting a little hot in here, but at least I'm still cozy, so I'm actually glad I got this. So this is a special first night. I'm thankful for that. Now let's move on to night number two. Now the gift that I got for the second night of Hanukkah is the complete Rick and Morty series from season one to season three! Isn't this freaking amazing? The reason why this is a huge one for me is because I've recently become a huge fan of Rick and Morty and I love it because it is so funny and it's so smart and intelligent and it really pulls a lot of references and the fact that like they build up all of these different multi-universes and 
The reason why I just fell in love with the animation and the storytelling of this show that I just became such a fan that I even converted my parents to becoming fans of this show. So it's really awesome to like um, actually have the whole set, even though I'm anxiously waiting for season four to come out because I heard there's going to be 70 episodes coming up very soon. I just love watching it all the way through, and I love laughing so hard at Rick's sarcastic remarks and Morty just like freaking out all the time, but I just love it. And that's why I'm always going to be a huge fan of this, because every time I watch these I get riggedy riggedy wrecked. <laughs> this is actually a great gift, and I'm glad that I got this for the second night. Now let's move on to night number three. Now the gifts that I got for the third night of Hanukkah is this really remarkable book called The Languages of Tolkien's Middle Earth. This is a glossary that helps you look up all of the word meanings to help you understand all of the words that are featured in uh, Lord of the Rings. You can get to learn everything from Elvish to Dwarvish and sometimes to uh, Quenyan and all the languages of hobbits. I really think that this is a special book so maybe I could learn um, what each of these um, uh, words mean because I just finished The Silmarillion which I think it's a really great book but a lot of the words can be a little confusing so this is going to be really helpful to me to help me understand what they're saying and maybe I could learn a, a fictional language that I might be very skilled at which which brings us to my other gift for the third night is Peter Hollins. Now Peter Hollins is one of my favorite YouTubers because he has an amazing singing voice and also the best thing about it is that he did a cover CD of all of the different songs that appear in the Lord of the Rings movies including The Hobbit and the reason I know that is is that I got to appear in one of his music videos for The Greatest Showman, and it was the song From Now On, which was a really great um, experience for me. And I'm so glad to have gotten one of his CDs so I can get to listen to this while I'm learning the languages of Middle Earth. So, Peter Hollins, if you are watching this, thank you, thank you so much for letting me feature in your video, and I'm giving you a big shout out for this CD, and I can't wait to listen to your music. So, these are what I got. Thank you. Now let's move on to night number four. Now the first gift that I got for the fourth night of Hanukkah is the guide to Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicles. I am really excited that I got this book because I'm a huge fan of Anne Rice's books because she gives like this wealth of characters and how she combines all of history, human history, and mixes it in with the legends of vampires. And what's really fascinating about this book is that this is really an annotation that like gives you all of the backstories of what happens in the books and they come up with all these references going from not only just the 1700s and 1800s history but all the way back to the ancient times from Greece to Rome to Egypt. Sometimes they reference even fairy tales like just so you know Little Red Riding Hood is even referenced in this book when Lestat describes his dog Mojo. I mean this is really fascinating and it's also really cool that they even reference like all these little things and put up the page number of where it appears in each of the books. So I'm really excited to check this out and who knows maybe I could use this for future reference when I do Lady Lestat my favorite character that I invented and who knows this will be a helpful guidebook for me so I'm happy to have this now the other gift that I got for the fourth night of Hanukkah is Anastasia the Broadway version of Anastasia this is really special to me because as somebody who grew up with the movie Anastasia it was it was such a privilege to actually get the chance to listen to it and I really started to fall in love with how they presented the story because ever since I was a little girl when I first got to see the movie Anastasia I became so 
entranced by the fact that there really was a family called the Romanovs and that I studied everything about the history behind behind this family. What's really amazing about this CD is that while it like has the songs from the original movie and even though I know the movie so well I like that they didn't make it too fantasy oriented and they focused more on the historical references and they kept it more like accurate to what really happens to the Romanovs and you could even hear it not only just in the lyrics but also in the music itself because they make it sound very glamorous but there's a sense of melancholy in there because you understand what's going on here and it's it was a really dark retelling of the story but it was a little more mature and understanding and that's what I really like about the CD so if you're a fan of Anastasia or if you're a fan of learning about history or anything I'd like to recommend this to you and have you give it a listen so it's really beautiful and all of the singing is just phenomenal to listen to so I'd recommend this now let's move on to night number five now the first gift that I got for night number five is this remarkable film slate. Now as you know, I currently work as a filmmaker and a video editor and I have my own little business called JVR Productions in which I shoot commercials for local businesses but hopefully I want to do creative features of fiction in the future and that could be like short films or maybe hopefully a full length feature would be really cool so with this I've entered the world into professional filmmaking, so this is a great present, and I'm glad that I got this as my tool for filmmaking. Speaking of filmmaking, the other gift that I got here is this giant tripod. Now, you might be kind of surprised why it looks like I have two tripods, but actually, it's one tripod, and one of the bags comes complete with wheels. Now the reason why I got this for Hanukkah is since I want to enhance my video making skills and my editing skills is because with, um, with these wheels it attaches to the tripod and it would create like um, tracking shots. The, the kind of like uh, film shots that you would see in The Shining. It's a technique that's called moving camera. And it almost kind of makes it feel like that you, the audience, are following the subject in the, in the shot. This is also going to like help enhance my uh, skills as a filmmaker. So these are really great gifts and I'm glad that I got this for the fifth night. Now let's move on to night number six. Now the first gift that I got for night number six is this book called Mycroft and Sherlock by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now for those of you who don't know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar used to be a basketball player, but now that he's in his 70s and that he has retired, he now writes books. And one of the books is um, a Sherlock Holmes book, only this time he has his brother Mycroft coming along for the uh, mystery adventures. Now I'm, I've gotten into like Sherlock for a long time now, like I'm talking about the BBC version with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman and also Mark Gatiss who co-wrote the show. I think this is a really special book because I can't wait to read um, a different interpretation of the Sherlock story written by somebody else. So I can't wait to read this. Now the other gift that I got for the sixth night of Hanukkah is this Targaryen scarf. Now this is really special to me because as a Game of Thrones fan, I fully support House Targaryen. And what's really cool about this is that it layers out almost like um, a soccer scarf that you would like uh, wear at a soccer match in England. I love that they did this and it just makes it almost feel like so badass and very um, royal related. Like you support this house and the fact that it has the the house symbol, it makes it even more cool. So I really love this so, so much. House Targaryen for the win! Now let's move on to night number seven. 
Now the gift that I got for night number seven is this light pad. Now I know what you're thinking. This might not be a very exciting gift for Hanukkah, but this is actually a really professional tool for my career as a graphic artist as well as a videographer. And what's actually kind of fascinating about it is that if you've seen my Photoshop related projects, what I do is I layer it over by using uh, reference images to try to trace them over to create my own little Photoshop creations that you see online. And what I would do with this is I would take pictures, layer them over, and just trace them all together in order to create uh, an original original graphic design or even a picture. It's really kind of fascinating for me because since I'm getting older and older, I'm getting more practical and technical gifts that would help with my career. So I'm thankful to have this. Now the other gift that I got for the seventh night of Hanukkah is Postmodern Jukebox. Postmodern Jukebox is a music band that mixes in doo-wop and jazz bands and 1940s music and 50s music and mixes it all in to create covers of pop songs of the modern age. What I really love about them is that they're very original and I love uh, their music and because I'm a jazz fan I just love dancing to it a lot. They make the songs that you're not really fans of into really big hits that I can't help but love. Like there's like a song they did a We Can't Stop, they've done all about that bass and they even did their own version of I Believe in a Thing Called Love which is one of my favorite songs and they did a great take on it. So. I'm glad I got a chance to listen to this, and I hope I listen to this over and over and over. So, Postmodern Jukebox, if you're watching this, kudos to you. And finally, let's move on to night number eight. <laughs> you're gonna be so excited. Now, the gift that I got for the eighth night of Hanukkah is this really amazing movie called Russian Ark. Now, because I'm a huge history geek, like I said before, and because I got the Anastasia CD, I am so glad that I got this DVD. What this movie is about, it's about this guy who walks inside the Winter Palace in Russia and he sees all of Russian history happening before his eyes while he's being guided by a French marquis who is based on a real French traveler who traveled to Russia many, many times. And what's so fascinating about this movie is that it's done in one long take. And it almost feels like you're walking into a museum and you see history come alive. You could see Peter the Great there, you could see Catherine the Great, and yes, you see the Romanovs in there. And, and what's also kind of amazing is that they have the royal ball scene at the end of the movie and it's based on the famous ball sequence that happened in 1913, which was a few years before they got swallowed up by the Soviet Union. It's a beautifully directed film and I'm so glad I got this. And if you're into filmmaking or if you're into like watching a really good film, I recommend this movie to you. So. This movie is one of my favorites and it's in one of my top 10 favorite art house films, so I'm lucky to have had this. And the final gift that I got for the 8th night of Hanukkah is this beautiful, beautiful necklace. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is called a Hamsa. A Hamsa translates to the hand of God and it's used as a charm to ward off the evil eye and ward off negativity. And this is a really special necklace to me because I remembered seeing um, a necklace like this in the Holocaust Museum when I just visited that earlier. I got really in touch with my Jewish heritage by going there and when I saw this I just felt like I needed to have one of those because these types of charms are very special and the way they're designed is just so beautiful like you can even see like sapphire and amethyst that are engraved in there and yes you can even see the eye and these charms are even special for um, not only just uh, Jewish people but also for Christians and Muslims they use this charm a lot to like ward off evil and I think it's really cool that people would have this to celebrate Hanukkah I feel like I'm gonna wear it just right now. This is, this is a really special necklace and 
I just cannot get over how beautiful and gorgeous this is. And I, I hope I wear this maybe on special occasions and maybe like, who knows, maybe when I feel like it. And it looks beautiful. I'm really thankful for that. So to mom and dad, if you're watching this, thank you for giving me this gift. I've always wanted something like that. So thank you. And also that wraps up all of the Hanukkah gifts I have. But I'm going to move on to some very special gifts given to me by my friends. Now, the gift that I got from my dear friend Katie Shepard, who is a, who's been a huge fan of my channel for so long, she gave me a couple special Harry Potter related uh, trinkets right here. She's got me chocolate frog cards, and she's even got me some trinkets from the making of Harry Potter, which is the Warner Brothers studio tour in London, since she lives in London. Hi, Katie. What I got here is I got Albus Dumbledore, like you, you got the Albus Dumbledore here, and I also got Godric Gryffindor, who's one of the founders of Hogwarts, along with Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin, and Helga Hufflepuff, because who would not have him there? And also, what I got here is Harry Potter's name when he came out of the Goblet of Fire, and no, I'm not mad. I'm saying it very, very calmly. I'm looking at you, Dumbledore. But yeah, this is actually really cool. And maybe I could frame this along with uh, my letter to JK Rowling or something. Like, this is really special. And also what comes along with this is the making of Harry Potter, the passport, when you go inside the... The, the tour. It has like trivia questions, it has like uh, games, and it also it gives you like little facts about how they made the movies, and it's really cool. So Katie, if you're watching this, thank you so much for these. They're really special. Thank you. And also I got two incredible gifts from my best friend Annalise, and if you're watching this, thank you for giving me these amazing Ravenclaw socks sock slippers to be exact and these are so comfy and they will go beautifully with my Ravenclaw lounge robe because they're so fluffy and they're so stylish and, and that makes me proud to be a Ravenclaw so thank you so much Annalise. The other gift that I got from Annalise is this sign from Lord of the Rings. If you don't know what that is that's the party sign for Bilbo's 100th and 11th birthday party from the movie. And the best part about it is that it was made in New Zealand, the very place where they shot the movie. And the fact that it looks so authentic and like real, like I could like hang this on the front of my door. Or maybe if I move into my own house, I'll hang this up whenever there's a geek party or a Lord of the Rings marathon or something. Like, this is so freaking cool. And so, Annalise, thank you so much for these gifts, and it's remarkable. I'm thankful that I have a friend like you, and I thank you for these remarkable gifts. And to everyone, thank you. Thank you so much for these wonderful gifts. And thank you so much for watching because I really wanted to do, do this for so long. And I just hope that like you enjoyed all the gifts that I got. And also, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas season, a wonderful Hanukkah, a wonderful Kwanzaa, Blessed Yule, or Krampusnacht, or Ramadan, or whatever you celebrate. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great holiday season. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content in the future. So until then, happy holidays and a happy new year. I'll see you later.